PE and venture capitalist uh, investments in 2015 have touched an all-time high with close to over 1,000 deals, largely due to increase in investments of India's startup ecosystem. That's according to the fourth edition of Grant Thornton's report, The Fourth Wheel 2016. My colleague Chetan Bhutani is in conversation with Harish uh, Parker at Grant Thornton India on startups and the investment climate in the ecosystem. Let's cut across. We say that without consideration of private equity and venture capital, uh, nothing happens in this in India Inc. Uh, in terms of going forward, investing, raising capital, etc. What has the trend been of as per your report? What does it see, uh, considering city-wise investments have have been have been big, have been increasing? So, what what does the report say about state-wise allocation of investments in startups? Well, uh, startups as well as other uh, investments uh, have uh, moved out of its traditional uh, domain of Bombay. Today we see almost equal investments between NCR, Mumbai and Bangalore. And we also see some uh, investments in the other cities, but these three clearly dominate with about 750 to 800 deals in each of the three regions and about $10 billion in each of these three regions. So uh, tell us about, uh, uh, we, I've been reading your report, I've been going through it. I've seen a lot of dip in, the, uh, dip in the investments in startups has been happening over a trend. The percentage has also been mentioned. Uh, what do you feel about dip in investments? Why is it happening? Because of the government policies? Or what is the reason behind this negative growth to say so in, uh, in the startup culture? Well, we saw a little bit of dip in Q4 of uh, 2015 in terms of investments in startup. And that is primarily because some of the large investments by uh, global funds into uh, the flip cards and snap deals did not happen in that quarter. Now, one can argue whether these can still be called startups, but otherwise uh, the average uh, size of investment has come down, which is also a good sign because the number of investments have gone up by more than 70 percent. So while the value has come down, uh, the volume has increased. Now from the government side, I think uh, very positive moves have happened. Uh, for the first time, startups have been recognized as something which contributes uh, to corporate sector. And uh, traditionally, when government consulted with industry, it used to be only the traditional industry or what used to be called captains of industry. But now uh, there is a new segment that talks to government, government wants to hear, and is working uh, to help that segment, which is the startup segment, where we've seen significant value creation. Right. Um, tell us about how uh, how the government is how the how the startups are planning to uh, increase their valuations. Considering uh, the pharma industry, the IT has been the hottest. What other sectors do you feel are the hottest for investments in in, in the startup culture? Well, for startups, I think, you know, apart from the ones which you mentioned, there are significant opportunities in healthcare uh, to deliver effective uh, and uh, low cost healthcare to the masses. Very significant opportunities in the uh, financial inclusion space with uh, Aadhaar card being one of the platform's uh, ability for uh, people to transact using, uh, you know, technology and mobile phones, which are quite uh, active. Uh, education, again, if you look at India, we have such a huge population where we need to deliver products and services, and particularly healthcare, education, uh, and financial products are three of the fundamental necessities. And if uh, startups can focus on creating innovative solutions for helping these people, I think uh, that's a great opportunity. In the budget, we saw some new initiatives, be it the e-commerce marketplace for uh, agri-products, uh, be it the uh, database for uh, degree certificates, uh, be it uh, land records. So there are lots of new government in initiatives which depend on technology, and this is where startups can see huge potential opportunities. Okay. So what is the growth plan for startups? Uh, the, the, the report also mentions about growth plans and how does it uh, entail in 2016, 17, 18. Can you give us a number as to what the growth projection is and uh, what, what growth percentage will the investments in startups particularly or the startup culture will grow in India? Well, last year we saw in excess of about 2,000 startups uh, is an estimate that we've seen. Uh, we expect this number to increase uh, because uh, entrepreneurship is now widespread. Uh, every engineering college, uh, for example, has an entrepreneurship cell. They have incubators. So uh, people in all the cities, particularly from my city, Bangalore, are very excited about starting something new and experimenting, and that uh, augurs very well. Uh, I would project significant jumps in uh, new uh, investments.
investments and startups. But uh, we all have to be conscious that this is a, an area where there is a significant failure rate, uh, and that is something that uh, we have to budget for. And I'm happy the government is coming up with a bankruptcy bill because any good uh, big entrepreneur, if you see in the global uh, scenario, uh, has had one or two failures in the past. So once a company or an individual entrepreneur or a group of people have started a, a business and it fails, uh, they need to be freed of the clutches so that they can start the next one. And the bankruptcy bill is going to be a very big uh, help for them. The last question to you, sir. Um, uh, what, is, what is the growth projection for startups? We just uh, spoke to you about that. Uh, what do you feel about the next big thing that's happening in startup culture. Do you think that the government policies should uh, should should be should be better should be better? The DIPP recently notified the startup the startup and the stand up India campaign. Uh, the notifications were out. Do you, do you think that the government should do more uh, with respect to uh, encouraging the startups and the startup culture? Well, I think they've made a big uh, beginning, which is a great thing that they've recognized this as a category and they've started doing things about it. I, according to me, they're, you know, they're also doing some things around incentives, tax breaks and all. The biggest thing for startups uh, is ease of doing business. How easy can you start a business? How easy can you run it? Uh, how many uh, taxes do you have to pay? How many approvals do you need? Uh, again, a lot of our laws are based on traditional uh, businesses. And if I start a new business, uh, just as an example, a taxi service, there is no law covering it. Which approval, which permit, is it motor vehicles, right? is it something? So they need to relook at laws in the light of the new world and amend those laws. So two big asks, one is uh, refresh laws and allow many of these new businesses to prosper. The second is make ease of doing business, particularly for startups. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. Thank you. All right, thanks, Chetan, for that. Now, in other news, cab aggregators Ola and Uber have both rolled out 